Hi there, Lewis Clifford here today again, and today I'm going to be talking about too much information and uh, information overload. So check it out. Okay, so today's all about how to stop overdosing on information. Um, and there's loads of ways of doing this, but let's let's just think about this. You know, there's no secret that, you know, today sort of we're technology rich and we have access to information. It's been bombarded at us all the time. I mean, it's like there's an informational geezer just going off and, and, and every day thousands of sources of new data and information pour into your inbox or on Twitter or Facebook and into your desktop all you know striving to kind of provide you with new insights or ideas of how you can boost your internet marketing tactics activities and income etc but in many of those cases the result is simply just overload you, you just don't know where to start or but to begin i mean how much information can we actually absorb from day to day and even then, how much of that information do we actually need? So the key thing here, there's some key principles that you can follow that will help you deal with the information that you get and that you're bombarded with every day. So first of all, tip one, decide what information you need. Now, the first thing I'm going to tell anyone suffering from sort of too much information, information overload, is to sit down and make a list of what you actually need. What information do you actually need? Now, you might need lots of information. You might be working on lots of projects. But think on a project by project basis. Concentrate on one thing at a time. Now, that thing that you're concentrating on now, what information do you need for that project. So you might be thinking, oh, I'm going to start making money online. I'm going to set up a blog and, and then I'm going to do this thing and then I'll do that. And I, I might start selling T-shirts using Teespring and, and then I read about this thing. And No, concentrate on one thing. Set up your blog first, if that's what you're going to do, or you're going to create an information product, say. Concentrate on that one thing. And then think about the information that you need to achieve that one thing. I think you'll be surprised how much information you don't actually need to have. For example, you might be subscribed to 25 different blogs about affiliate marketing, you know, mine included. But what do you actually get from those blogs each day? How many hours do you spend reading posts that could be used? Um, you know, that time reading those posts could be used more practically building your website or building your next blog blog how many hours do you spend reading posts that you could be putting the tactics you've learned into p in the past to work now the easiest way to measure the value of the information you bring you bring in is to see if you actually use any of it many times you'll find that you don't use any of it at all if you're reading 200 articles a month about exciting new ways to create or use a blog to make money that doesn't help you if you don't have a single blog, if you've not taken action to create a blog in the first place because you're too busy reading information on how to create blogs, you've got to take action. So remove any informational sources that only pile on more options for how to do something you've yet to do. If you haven't already started it, then don't start researching different ways of doing the thing you haven't started. A good trick is to have all your favorite blogs on an RSS feed. I use something called Feedly on my smartphone um, and it brings me all information and news from certain subjects into one nice kind of straightforward feed and I can just flick through it and if I'm interested I'll read it, save it, maybe share it. If I'm not, delete, move on. Okay and you can then look at all your posts together each day and determine which ones will have the most value for that project that you're working on. I would say, you know, information is important. So I'd say choose five to 10 articles each day to read and stick to them, okay? 
even if there are a hundred articles out there or links or whatever that have valuable information, you'll, you'll never get anything done if you read them all. I mean, it, it, and absolutely, that means it basically defeats the purpose of having that information in the first place. Okay, point number two. I'm going to talk about information products. Now, an even bigger problem for information junkies like you and I is the allure of new money-making systems or product that hits, you know, hits a market. Now, you know, I'm always promoting new products that hit the market, so maybe I'm, I'm, I'm guilty of, of contributing to your information overdose. Um, but it's up to you to manage that information that, that gets sent and to choose one product or one approach and stick with it before you try anything else. A lot of people who have the knowledge and tools needed to become truly effective affiliate marketers never get there. They never do it because they spend more time reading the new ebooks or looking at new internet marketing systems rather than actually putting them to use. And that's when the people say, oh, internet marketing is a scam, it doesn't work. Well, it doesn't work if you don't stick with it, if you don't find the right system and stick with it. If you suddenly get distracted by the next new thing before you've finished and really put the effort into that one system that you had in the first place, then of course you're going to fail. So my rule for this is very, very simple. No matter how good a new product looks or how low the price seems to be at the moment, don't buy, yes, I'm telling you, don't buy or read any new information products unless, and this is the key thing, you finish the one you're currently working on. Stick with the one that you're currently working on. Really test it out to see if it works. If it doesn't work, then fine. Move on to the next one. But don't get distracted and go off onto the next one before you finish using the system that you've currently got. And when I say finish, I mean more than just reading all the books or watching all the videos. I mean completely and utterly finish. Having tried all the tricks, developed all the sites, using the, all the tools of the program that you bought, don't skim it. You've really tried it. Until you've done that, don't try anything else. This is really important because too many people will get excited about a new program. It's that kind of shiny... Sh Shiny object syndrome, you know, we all go, oh, oh, new thing, new, new information product, oh, a new excitement. We, we're all guilty. I, I am as well. We all get excited about it. We buy it and we find that they don't actually like the way it works or, or that we're now really excited about a different program. You hop from one system, one program to the next without ever really investing the time needed, the time that is necessary to get anything done with the original system that you bought. I don't know about you, but I like to get my money's worth out of something. So I will really, really work hard at uh, any new system I've got and really give it time. With information overload, it's simple to forget that information, it, you know, it's, it, it's... the key to information overload is to simply forget the information exists. It's as big of a proponent of reading and learning as anyone you'll ever meet. But if you continually spend more hours a day researching and looking for new tricks or new systems, you'll never be able to put them to use. So trust yourself and the knowledge that you've gathered, whether it's through my course or somebody else's courses, jump in the deep end and you'll be surprised how quickly you start floating and you can start to swim. Don't delay. Don't think that, you know, the next new product system is going to be the answer until you've really tried out the existing systems that you might have bought or, or, or already have. Jump in. Don't worry about it. And give it a go. And um, now for those that need a helping hand, learning to swim, as it were, then I highly recommend if you if you want to get started in affiliate marketing or information products, etc. And you don't want to sort of create all your own stuff for it, then take a closer look at a, a, a Philo Jetpack. Um, there'll be a link down there below for you. I highly re recommend it, a Philo Jetpack. This will show you how you can generate affiliate sites and you'll be given 
fully prepared email autoresponder series, articles, everything you need to get going. You'll be able to build an email list really, really fast, get those sales rolling in faster than you thought really you know, is possible. So um, if you are serious about this, you want to get started, but don't know where to start, want to have ev all the information ready, have an email autoresponder all set up, ready for you to go, all pre-written, then check out uh, Affiliate Jetpack and that's the best way to jump in at the deep end and give this uh, affiliate marketing lark a good go. Uh, thank you for listening. Um, I hope this hasn't contributed to your information overload. If you take any way, anything away from this video, then it's this. Please take action. Stick with a system that you may have got. Give it a go. Try your best. And don't jump to another system until you've really, really tried the one, the current one that you're working on, um, that you've got out. And if you haven't created a blog yet, why not? Get it set up. Don't put it off. Okay? Thank you. Cheers for watching.